focus on this formula. Keep it in mind as we go along. The foreign tax credit is limited to the part of U.S. tax caused by net foreign source taxable income. The limitation is expressed by this formula. This limitation is computed separately for each year the taxpayer claims a credit. It is also computed separately for each basket. The baskets are defined in the law and have changed for years beginning after 1986 and again after 2006. In every computation, the key is foreign source taxable income. That means foreign source gross income reduced by deductions allocated and apportioned to that income. We already discussed how to determine what income is from what source in the source module. We'll discuss how deductions are allocated and apportioned in the 861 module. From 2007 through 2017, there were only two baskets, passive and general. After 2017, there are four baskets. The first basket since 1987 is passive, and the last basket is everything not in another basket. Beginning 2018, baskets other than passive are foreign branch income, subpart F inclusions of global intangible low taxed income, and general, or everything else. Separate foreign tax credit limitation calculations must be made for each basket each year. The passive basket is defined under the subpart F rules. Passive is interest, dividends, rents, royalties, certain foreign exchange gains, and gains on disposition of property that generate this sort of income. Then we apply the look-through and the high tax kickout rules to see if we treat the income as not passive. This passive basket is not the same as passive income under the passive activity loss limitation rules. Passive activities are business activities with limited taxpayer participation. Passive basket is often non-business, generally more like investment income. Before 2007, there were some additional baskets since everything post-86 is pooled and those baskets are now gone, for the most part, they are part of the passive basket. You may encounter some situations, though, where there's some subtle distinctions.